Tonight, Western Oklahoma is on fire. A state of emergency declared in more than 50 counties. The smoky smell detected in neighboring states. High temperatures, gusting winds, and low humidity, creating perfect conditions for wildfires. Authorities say flames have injured seven and killed two, including a 61-year-old man trying to fight the fire and a woman found in her burned-out vehicle. We got all our important stuff out of the house and we sat up here and waited on fire trucks. I've never seen nothing like it in my life. And I'm glad they're here. They're doing a terrific job. About 1,400 people in Oklahoma have been forced from their homes. One of the fires is so big that it stretches almost 40 miles across at its widest point. Low humidity and strong winds have been fueling the flames. Take a look at this. A storm-chasing couple rescuing a man from the flames just in time. ABC's Clayton Sandell has the story. This is the moment Jason Perks driving that giant road grader is overcome by giant flames. There's a road grader that's getting stuck over here trying to get out of the ditch. Perks digging a fire break to help stop this Oklahoma wildfire is suddenly trapped. He needs to get out. I know he needs to get out. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe what just happened. <laughs> uh, you would not believe oh what gosh. just happened. I was just hoping not to uh, burn up. I um, didn't really have time to be too scared. We was trying to save the houses, which I think we did. Not only did Perks survive, so did his road grader. Just hours later, he was back in the firefight. Hi, friends. I wanted to post today to uh, give you a very important message and ask for your help. As I'm sure that you've uh, heard, our friends and families in western Oklahoma, northwestern Oklahoma, are facing serious devastation from these wildfires. I've spent most of the day talking to friends throughout western and northwestern Oklahoma. Uh, most of my conversations have focused on Dewey County because that's where the largest fires have been and the most devastation. Uh, I, I want to share a couple of anecdotes with you to really share just the just the um, gravity of the situation. I talked to Joe this morning and he was actually on his tractor dragging about 20 to 30 head of cattle to a ditch to be buried. Uh, when I talked to Roger uh, later today uh, or later this morning, uh, he said that he had an employee whose husband has received a lot of burns from fighting fires. Uh, they're a young family, have two daughters, they lost their home. So that's just one example of a family that's displaced. And when I talked to Joy uh, today, her husband had a lot of smoke inhalation as he was fighting fires to save their home. Uh, that's just a few examples of what's occurring in Dewey County and other parts of western and northwestern Oklahoma. So the post today, I'm, I'm asking you to, to pray. Tomorrow's the Lord's Day, and I believe in the power of prayer. Among other things, uh, pray, if you would, put this in, in, your, in your prayers. Pray that the wind stops uh, and it, it subsides. The, the wind is really uh, wreaking havoc uh, for these volunteer firefighters and other firefighters and other men and women trying to stop these fires. Pray that the King of Kings, our Sovereign Lord, sends rain to western and northwestern Oklahoma. The eerie calm, desolate farmlands, and lost cattle. There's no salvage in anything. Air compressors, my generators, everything it takes to run a farm and a house. All gone from his outbuilding, but Eric Peoples considers himself lucky. His home is still standing. There's people that had low grass around their house and no trees for a quarter mile that lost their homes. And the flames are massive, a wall of flames, 45 mile per hour winds pushing them down the riverbank. Now this is the Ray River, uh, Ray Fire crews have been battling for the past couple days. It's climbed more than 241,000 acres. Cedar trees are fueling the fire. One explosion of flames after the other. Firefighters hope today's cooler temperatures would help contain the fires. Uh, the wind's horrible. The only thing that we've had is cooler temperatures, uh, and that hasn't affected the, the fire conditions at all. The reprieve will be short-lived. Temperatures are forecast to soar into the 90s this week, potentially whipping up Oklahoma's already deadly wildfire season. 
The Oklahoma National Guard's Joint Operations Center has been responding to requests from the Office of Emergency Management as Oklahoma has seen historic wildfire conditions sparking the burning of nearly 400,000 acres in western Oklahoma as of Sunday afternoon. On Friday, a Black Hawk and Chinook helicopter dropped buckets of water, providing aerial firefighting support. On Saturday, the Oklahoma National Guard was on the ground delivering nearly 9,000 gallons of water to the firefighters on the front lines via four trucks called hippos that carry 2,000 gallons each. Again, this is something that we haven't done before. It's pretty precedent for, for us to get ground forces on the ground to support these fires. We, we've, we've heard great things that we're supporting the effort there and they're able to, to fight the fires quicker than they have in the past. While the hippo vehicles remain working in the field, two Black Hawk helicopters and numerous personnel are on standby, ready for the call. Reporting for the Oklahoma National Guard from Moreland, Oklahoma, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Christopher Bruce. So guys, I'm going to have to once again rely on you in Oklahoma to let me know what is taking place there. In my research, what I have been finding is an awful lot of the same information. What I am finding is that, well, it's a different state with a different name. It's Oklahoma now, but reading these mainstream media articles, I may as well be back months and months ago in California, reading the same information. The dry conditions, the low humidity, the high winds, the out of control fires, they're really hot. These fires, especially the Ray fire, is out of control, seemingly. They're expecting Florida firefighters soon to arrive in Oklahoma to help them. You just heard that the Army is helping the firefighters in Oklahoma. So they are ongoing. Initially, what I read was 200,000 acres. And for the last 36 hours, I have been reading 336,000 acres. Just like California, the numbers held, held steady day after day after day after day while hearing the wildfires were out of control. Yet, they didn't seem to consume more acreage. That's why I have to rely on you guys. You put a search in YouTube. I am amazed that there are not more videos coming out of Oklahoma on these fires. Yeah, you get mainstream media report reporting on these fires, and they report essentially the same thing. But where are all of the Oklahoma residents? I would have thought I would have seen a whole lot of videos, but I'm not. I'm not playing this video because it's a storm tracker and I can, I could see me getting a copyright strike. The fires look very, very hot, very hot, and they're spotty. The Fires are numerous. You've got Dollar Pound Fire, 34 Complex Fire, Ray Fire, East Raiden Fire, Shaw Fire, Roadside Fire, Martha, Citation, Boattown Fire. And the largest, which is the Ray Fire, 246,000 acres, is only 3% contained. So that seems, considering that the latest reports, the winds have not died down, and they're not, uh, it, they're still having dry conditions. Ooh, boy, it's hard. You know, even when you hear just a few homes, I don't care if it's just one home. People losing everything that they have. Um, it is very upsetting. What is really upsetting is when you're doing research and you come across these channels. Are you serious? And there he is reporting on the fire talking about the drought conditions in Oklahoma and New Mexico, Kansas, Colorado. Oh, the dry conditions, the drought conditions, and these wildfires, well, they're out of control because those areas are just so dry. And Do you ever hear geoengineering weather modification? No. 
and it's been going on for years. There are so many channel, channels out there who report on weather or report on mm, prophecy, but you never hear them discuss geoengineering, weather modification, and Oh, the high probability that man is bringing this on? No, we are absolutely at war. We've got a blizzard happening up north in areas that you got to watch this video. And I hope that you circulate it because the blizzard up north, South Dakota, Minnesota, farm country, farm country, Adapt 2030, posted this yesterday. Good afternoon, everyone. The media distraction that we're seeing in the last three to four days only raises a three on my scale as we get into global crop losses and food price increases. Spring blizzard shanto. I don't know why they even call it a winter storm. Anyway, blizzard warnings for upper Midwest sweeping across the U.S. Great graphic here. Look on the satellite for you. And these blizzard warnings, those are where we grow our crops. So we've got blizzard happening up north where we grow our crops you take control over the food you got control over the people and we have these massive wildfires happening in farm and i believe beef cattle country how convenient i just want to end with this this was taken by some news helicopter man a flyover and i have to say that i'm looking at this and i'm thinking oh this does not look quite right yeah the the area of the country is different but i have to tell you it's looking kind of like california these spotty fires that erupt and we're to think that a an ash that that was on fire blew all the way across all of that farmland and hit a home and it started on fire the spottiness of these fires the the number of fires that broke out at the exact same time this home doesn't even look like it was burned it looked like it was hit with a bomb and of course, we see the trees around, the structures that are destroyed. I'd love to hear from my Oklahoma subscribers. If you have any information about what is taking place that we are not hearing reported, could you please leave a comment below? This home looks like it was it burned from inside. You see the periphery? Whatever that is, it doesn't look like it was touched by the fire. It looks like it collapsed. But it looks like that home kind of started to burn from inside. Yeah, this people are losing everything all over the place, guys. It's so unbelievably upsetting. The amount of life being destroyed, not just human, wildlife, it's hard to take. Thank you for watching, guys.